this house. There's some trolls in this house. There's some trolls in this house. And you are learning to rebuke them. Things have been torched to the ground. You guys got people going bananas, assumptive AF, because you know your value. You have surrendered to love. You have surrendered to your value. You've surrendered to the universe, to God, and it looks amazing on you. Amazing. Bessie, let's jump into your message today. There are some trolls running about. There's some trolls in this house. And you guys got people going crazy out here, assumptive AF. People are looking real dumb making these assumptions, but people don't know what else to do because your privacy is on lock. You are rebuking things in the name of the universe, in the name of Jesus, in the name of God, and you are sending, sending it. Whoever has been trying you in general, you are realizing that they are trying to scare you. They cannot actually harm you. And that's going to be for half of you. The other half of you are further along in how you deal with this. But for the other half, it's going to be a big sense of relief because you're realizing how to get a handle on your divine protection and how to use it to the best of your ability. Let's go over today's download. You guys know how it's been over the course of the last week. Every time I go to press play, sirens are going off. Fireworks are going off. Shots are being fired. There are some trolls that have been running amok and people have been very assumptive of you lately because they just sense there's some type of wall up when it comes to your protection. When it comes to finding out information about you, they know they're gonna be met with some type of challenge. So people are over in a corner, cubicle or water cooler, keying it up and gossiping about you being very assumptive. People are assuming right now that you have a lot going on in your bank account, that you just have things together. That is a street bike confirmation. And this is about how you carry yourself. You could be thinking, bestie, Brittany, I do not have such and such in my bank account. I just don't. But you do. Because it's how people are looking at you. You are the walking wish fulfilled. And so people see you as someone that has their head on straight, someone that is well to do or does well for themselves. And they see you as this free bird, liberated, getting to live your best life. And it's high time that you guys see yourself this way. People are being assumptive because they think that you have all of this money because of how you're carrying yourself right now. Maybe years and years and years ago, before your spiritual awakening, you guys carried yourself a certain way and you had this fake it till you made it type of energy that you were emanating. And then you guys went through some trials, some challenges and tribulations, and maybe that started slipping away from you. Maybe during your dark night of the soul, your spiritual awakening and or your Saturn's return. Some of these things could have been getting away from you as you guys have been heavy under attack or dealing with spiritual warfare or trying to get something off of the ground and like up and running. And now you are starting to see yourself as this empress, as this emperor again. You are going to sing again. You are going to dance again. You are going to love again. You are going to laugh again. And this is all how you are carrying yourself again. Because what I'm getting is more like Six of Cups type of vibe. Like this is nostalgic to you. Euphoric. There's something familiar about the way that you're carrying yourself right now that you know how to do. 
And for some of you guys, you're thinking, oh, I, I know this. It's like riding a bicycle. I can do this again. I can do these things that I enjoyed so much. I feel like it has something to do with all of the self-reflection that you've been doing. And it has something to do with your aesthetic, how you carry yourself, how you speak. And I'm just seeing that you're having more fun. You see your value like never before. Comment down below. I see my value like never before. No regrets, new endeavors. You guys feel God's armor like never before. So tippity type that down below. I feel God's armor like never before. I feel the universe's love like never before. You are free as a bird and you are ready to fly. You are ready to soar. Your strength, your resilience, your prayer, and your patience, your faith got you here. I'm going to say that again. Your strength, your resilience, your prayer, your patience, and your faith have gotten you here. So live out loud and love out loud. Comment down below. I am living out loud. I am loving out loud. You are the champion for your cause. All this resilience, all of the things that you guys have been through, this is what got you here. And now you guys have God coming along and lightening this load. Your angels coming along and lightening this load. The universe coming along and lightening this load. You guys are going from the darkness to the sunlight. Literally, if there could even be a better image, this is exactly what is going on. You guys are going from, I got to do everything by myself. Life is, uh, everything's so monotonous. It's never go, it never goes my way to, no, you guys are walking on sunshine. I'm hearing, I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I love that song. You are living out loud. You guys are doing silly things because your inner child is thriving. And those that are around you that support you and love you, they are seeing this new you. They are thankful. God is thankful. Oh my gosh, they're having fun. Oh my gosh, they're laughing. They're loving. They're surrendering. They're living. You are living out loud. In this season, you guys are going to be inventing many things. And in six to nine months, there is something that you are going to master or you will be, be um, with child. There are things that you guys are birthing, bestie. So some of you guys are going to be um, expanding your family. And in six to nine months, everything in your life is going to look very different. Because you're going to be more... experienced in your season and what you're working with and what you want in your life. There's a lot that you guys are going to be able to overcome in the next six to nine months. There is either an invention that you are giving birth to or an actual child that you're giving birth to or a business that you are giving birth to or a lifestyle that you are giving birth to. I'm hearing a motorcycle. That's a Harley. So you guys are moving towards this majestic, mystical, modern, mastermind type of season where you have a lot of fertility, pregnancy, creativity, sensuality. You are going to be feeling extremely resourceful. This is a big renewal for you. It's like you were being resurrected. It's like you were being resuscitated. You were being brought back to life. There is healing and miracles taking place right now. I want you to bask in it. I want you to marinate in it. I want you to gobble it all up. It's all for you. It is all for you. You are attracting serenity. You are attracting calm. Wishes fulfilled. Your dreams coming true, your manifestations coming true, and no one can knock your focus because you are rebuking and denouncing these things that have been sent your way 
to disarm you, to distract you, and to knock you off course, to put you in the snow globe of fuckery. You guys already know. You guys are returning to your innocence. You are realizing that the rest is still unwritten. I don't know why I have all these Natasha Benningfield songs in my head. So I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine and the rest is still unwritten for you. You guys are taking this leap of faith towards something big, wanting to expand your family, wanting to get married, meeting the person of your dreams, falling in love. There is something very big that is worth the risk. The rest is still unwritten. Like, look at this fairy tale book. It's so beautiful. This is you guys. The rest is still unwritten. You guys are realizing, oh my gosh, new me, who this? New book. There is a book that you are closing, okay? You're taking the book and you're like, mm, that, that book was very important. This book taught me all about resilience. I'm just going to put this book right here. But the rest is still unwritten. So you are entering a new volume. And in this new volume, there is more magic. There is more creativity. You are no longer this in this birdcage. Someone here could be 44, 17, 31, or 26. I got surrender twice for you guys. Sing anyways, surrender anyways, love anyways, pray anyways. There could be a lot of times where you get irritated. You're like, oh my gosh, I have to pray all the time because people are always attacking me. These spirits are always attacking me. You are letting go of that. You are starting to see like, okay, I need to knock it off. It's time to pray. Like when I told you guys about my husband praying for arch nemesis number five I was like uh where do they do that at okay literally like scratching my head like where do they do that at and then I realized that I was just being salty and that was my shadow that's not cool like yeah they did a lot of damage to the family but at the same time like I don't wish for them to be in the hospital or anything of that nature so I don't need to be doing the most or making faces during the prayer you know what I mean? So you guys are feeling humbled in your purpose. You are feeling humbled in the power of your prayer. You have this innocence returning to this new book. Okay, we got the new book that you're picking up. And you're ready for this new adventure. You're like, okay, I'm on the first five pages. In the first five pages, bestie, you are not a villain. You are not this trapped bird. You are not the five of cups crying in the corner. You are seeing like, I am worthy. I am protected. Everything is magical. I, I can change the narrative at any time. I can change the narrative at any time. There is so much energy and inspiration but i'm getting a lot of pregnancy so if you guys are not trying to get pregnant then you know be careful but some of you guys are okay i've gotten literally let's see one two three four cards about pregnancy pregnancy you guys nurturing yourself Pregnancy, you guys surrendering to the power of love, ace of wands, pregnancy, and the empress. Miracles are unfolding for you. So I'm getting that for half of you guys, it's inventions, okay? Because you are the inventor in this season. You are going to be getting a lot of recognition that is going to be bringing your ten of cups. You guys are going to be having a major breakthrough, for those of you guys on your divine counterpart, a twin flame, whatever type of love journey you guys want to call it, this person could be an air or a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, but whoever this is, they're going to truly balance you out. They are going to truly balance you out. You guys are going to be communicating differently. Your imagination is being elevated. 
there are negative thought process that you're leaving behind. So some of you guys are going to be birthing this new love in this new book. Some of you guys are going to be birthing this family in this new book. And some of you guys are going to be birthing your spiritual business or your purpose in this new book. And in the next six to nine months, you are going to see like absolute magic. Maybe this season is going to last six to nine months for you guys, but it is going to change the course of your life. I'm seeing that your guys' hair is looking different. Your face is looking different. For my guys, you guys might be like growing a beard. You're doing different things with your aesthetic. Or you're going back to an aesthetic that you loved and you're spicing it up. You guys are rocking the crown that you deserve. You are filling up your cup. Yeah, some of you guys have been manifesting a soulmate. That is here. Along with recognition for the strength that you have. You guys are going to be getting recognition for your testimony. And the tests that you guys have been through. You're going to get recognition for... The self-reflection that you've been doing and how inspiring you are. This is going to inspire others to look in the mirror. This is going to inspire others to also dig a little bit deeper to uncover the truth. Their cosmic blueprint. The universe is speaking to you. God is speaking to you, bestie, and you are listening. You are staying still so you can listen so you can hear the messages coming in for you that makes me really emotional for you like you guys are sitting here like I'm listening I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna be still instead of like where's it at what is going on you know what I mean You guys are not going to cheat yourself anymore. You're not going to you're not going to lie to yourself anymore. I see my value. I see my worth like never before. You guys are setting these attacks on fire and they have been rebuked. God and your angels have heard your prayer. And this is what you're realizing. I've been telling you guys all week that your, your prayer is powerful. Your word is powerful. So be easy with it because the things that you say manifest super quickly. So instead of using it for return to sender, instead of using it for certain things when you're upset, you are going to use this for the power of prayer. You are going to use this for the power of manifestation in your life. Someone here could be 21 years old, 26 years old, or be a life path nine or four. The star card, the magician, or the empress, or the fool could be your card. One of the four, the star, the magician, the empress, or the fool is your card that you see in a reading. God and your angels have heard your prayers. They have heard your SOS. And without this pain, this moment in time wouldn't be as beautiful as it is. Or realizing that you are no longer a caged bird. You are no longer sequestered. You are no longer confined. You are no longer divided or disconnected or segregated. You are no longer detached. You have gone within. And there are a lot of things that you've realized about yourself. You're like, I am no longer this cage bird. I am free to do what I love. I am free to be who I've always wanted to be. You guys were really in this season of feeling yourself. You know, we have good seasons and we have bad seasons. And you guys were in this season once upon a time of like really feeling good about yourself, about your confidence, about your aesthetic. And you might feel like you lost your way a little bit. Well, guess what? You are making your way back to this path of worthiness and of surrendering to the process. You are becoming the person your inner child always knew you could be. You are making your inner child very proud and you are setting these trolls on fire with your prayer. I'm going to say that again. You guys are setting these trolls on fire. Their words are on fire. 
people have tried very hard, literally gone Looney Tunes to penetrate your energy, to harvest your energy, to emanate your energy or emanate, replicate. And they have gone crazy just to try to either impress you or intimidate you. People have gone crazy just to intimidate you or impress you. And so you guys are being very observant at this time because you've gone through a lot of loss. You've gone through a lot of bereavement, trauma, despair, isolation, just grief and sadness. So you're just doing a lot of observing um, while your skills are being sharpened, while your sight and your hearing is being sharpened. You guys are doing a lot of just watching because your optics are elevating your opposite your optics are elevating they're upgrading they are shifting this is your moment your season and you're seeing truly how valuable your time is i want to go over that with you comment down below this is my moment this is my season and i am seeing how valuable my time is and that life is short you are reaching bestie for all that you want, all that you desire, all that you deserve, all that you believe in. So you already know. I am reaching for all that I love, all that I deserve, all that I desire. I am driven by love. I am driven by purpose. Okay, those of you guys that are in your purpose and you know what it is, I'm so happy for you. Some people are still finding their way and figuring out what their purpose is. Some people are spiritual, but they haven't really figured out like what their thing is. You guys could be dealing with a lot of spiritual narcissists. These are people in your life that are extremely self-righteous, arrogant, smug, aggressive, because they have not figured out what their purpose is. They are not purpose-driven. So you guys are dealing with some narcs that are very angry. And right now, people are seeing that you are not only driven by purpose, which is your divine masculine energy, you are driven by love, which is now your divine feminine energy. I love this for you guys. This is your season. This is your moment to reach for what you truly deserve, to live in that moment, to embrace this season. You are letting love in and you are letting the sun shine upon you. I am letting love in. I am letting the light shine upon me. I'm letting the sun shine upon me. Everything is hitting different for you. God is shining down upon you. Be proud of the self-reflection that you've been doing, the self-reflecting that you've been doing because you are surrendering to your worthiness and the power of your prayer. You guys are also surrendering to how much you are truly loved. Some of you guys tried to fight this. You met someone and you're like, I can't, I, I don't trust it, I don't believe it. And you started loving yourself again. Showing yourself what you deserve. You guys could have been sent attacks where these people wanted you to feel sleep deprived or restless or possessed. And you rebuke this. You denounce this on anyone that has been trying to attack you. You are letting God be the judge of what they've been doing and what they've been sending and the spirits that you guys have been dealing with. You guys are free as a bird and you are truly loved by the divine. You are truly loved by the universe. You are truly loved by God. I'm just You're just looking at yourself in a really different way. I don't, I don't know how it's all taking place. Somebody here could be 39 years old. I'm getting heavy life path nine. But you could also be a life path four three or six fearless love so yesterday 
I was working a bunch and I hadn't eaten all day. And then I finally go to eat and I was so hungry that I didn't pray over my food. So my husband gets home and I'm like in the middle of like shoveling everything into my face. And he's like, I'm going to pray. Did you bless your food? I was like, I already blessed my food. So I'm not waiting. I'm eating. I haven't eaten all day. Being a little grumpy pants. And then I caught myself like, wait, you didn't pray yet. And I like never eat my food without praying. And so while he was saying his prayer, I stopped. I stopped eating and I started asking God for forgiveness. I'm sorry that I just said that. I didn't pray over my food. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And then I patiently waited for my husband to finish his prayer. But I was like, whoa. So it's kind of like that. Like you're you're catching yourself like, oh, I just did that. No, 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 no. We got we to gotta fix that. We got to fix that. This is that wisdom. This is you guys loving fearlessly. We have Oshun. You guys are going to be accessorizing different. Carrying yourself different. You are no longer in scarcity. Whether you have a, a ton in your bank account or not, you're no longer in scarcity. You want for nothing. God is always providing for you. The universe is always providing for you. You have released scarcity. It's like you're coming out of the darkness and God or the universe is revealing to you what your purpose is and what you're supposed to be doing here. Or this is becoming more clear to you. The path that you are supposed to be on is becoming more clear to you. And this could be something that you've really wanted to bring in to know like, I know I'm going to go a long distance, but where, like, but where am I supposed to go? Where am I truly supposed to go? So now you guys are going to have a better idea of how to take action. And that alone is going to make you feel light as a feather. It's going to be making you guys feel really good about yourself. Like, ooh, I know what speed to go at because I, I kind of know where I'm going. You know what I never realized about this Oshun card? There are peacock feathers behind her while she's holding this mare, like floating on water. Some of my customers the other day, they're like, oh my gosh, Brittany's so mystical. She'd be walking on water. And I was like, I do not walk on water. But I'm flattered. <laughs> okay. So believe in the impossible. This is what people think about you. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. Like, they, I know they be walking on water. I just know they do. Like, this is how people see you, bestie. So live in it. Live in it. People are either trying to go crazy to impress you or go crazy to intimidate you. But you are the walking fairy tale. Comment down below. I am the walking fairy tale. I am the gem on the street. Duh. Obviously. Because people see you as living this happily ever after. If people are like, I never want to get married. Da -da -da -da, you guys are making people rethink that. If people are like, oh, I'm not going to be spiritual. Whatever. It's confusing them. You know what I mean? They're just like, oh, maybe I do want that. Maybe I do want to be in love. Maybe I do want to reach for that. You guys are making people pause and think about what they truly want. You guys are making people pause and think about what they truly want. Like, you know what? I never really believed in this fairy tale, but maybe I want that too. Maybe I want that too in my life. Maybe I want to be in love. Maybe I want to make a commitment. Maybe I want to propose. Maybe I want to let up a little on my person or whatever it is that they're thinking. But you guys make people think and sometimes they think out loud to where you guys can help them. But people are wanting to change their direction in the road because of how you speak to them because of how you speak about life because of how you speak about your history and what is hidden you guys have a depth that is rare 
and you guys show people that the potential is limitless. You are learning how to go with the wind. You guys are breaking free, finding things out for yourself. You guys are doing your research. You are going down the rabbit hole of love, of your purpose. And you are just hearing these messages loud and clear from the divine. You are hearing them loud and clear from the universe. You are getting more vocal. You are communicating differently. Your throat chakra is going through an activation. You guys could hear bells ringing. You guys could be getting a lot of notifications. You are just evaluating yourself differently and just seeing it clearly. Okay, you guys are just seeing it clearly. I see my Ten of Cups clearly. I see the love that I have for myself clearly. And I am no longer rebellious nor naive. I am free. I am no longer naive nor rebellious. I am free to love how I want and be who my inner child always knew that I could be. So let's go over your download one more time. You guys got some trolls that are going a little crazy trying to get into your home. There's some trolls in this house. And you guys got people out here getting real assumptive about what you have going on in your life because they cannot reach you. That's why these people are really mad because they cannot reach you. You will not give them the time of day. Not because you're trying to be mean, but because you guys are protecting yourself. So as these people are out here, assumptive AF, acting absurdly and childish, you are realizing that God and your angels have heard your prayers. They have heard your SOS. And this, without this pain that you guys went through, these things that you suffered, you wouldn't this moment wouldn't be as beautiful to you. You are free to do what you love and be who you always wanted to be. So these trolls are on fire and the access is denied. These people that have been going crazy to be in your energy, meddle in your energy, going crazy to impress you or intimidate you, this is your moment, your season, and you are seeing just truly how valuable your time is. Like to you, time is money. It's just valuable. So you're just living in this moment. You are seizing your moments. You are seizing every day differently. As you're realizing that life could be shorter than you would like it to be, you are reaching for what you want and you are reaching for what you deserve. You are now driven by love. You are now driven by purpose. You are letting go of despair and you are letting love in. You are letting love surround you. If you were like, I'm never going to be in love. I'm never going to let them love me. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. You're like, all right, it's happening. I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, you went from it's happening to I'm going to enjoy it. I'm it's it's okay. And you're realizing that you are worthy of the sun shining down upon you, of God shining down and smiling down upon you. And you are super proud of the self-reflection that you've been doing. You are surrendering to your worthiness and the power of your prayer, the power of your words, the power of your manifestation. And you are realizing how much the universe and God truly loves you. Your strength, your resilience, your prayer, your patience, and your faith got you here. So live out loud. Love out loud. Who's going to check you, boo? No one. Okay, who's going to check you, boo? No one. You are carrying yourself differently. You see your value like never before. You feel God's armor on you. Okay? So comment down below. I feel God's armor. I feel the universe's armor on me. On my life. On my loved ones. On my home. These things. These attacks. These spirits are set on fire. And they are rebuked. You feel me? 
you guys let me know in the comments what angel numbers you guys are seeing. Let me know how this message resonates with you. If you guys are looking for exclusive content and a big library to binge on, uh, my Patreon link is down below. It's only eleven eleven a month and that's where I do pick a cards that you guys vote on. And just thank you guys for all of your super chats, your cash app donations. They do not go unnoticed and I'm so grateful. I love reading your guys' comments. It is the best part of my job. So don't forget to smash the you know what hit the bell. Duh. You guys don't want to miss out on the live streams or being able to participate. And yeah, I'm just grateful for you guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye guys. Toodles.